Good morning everybody. I hope you're all doing okay and enjoying this wonderful sunshine we've been blessed with. Today I'd like to waffle on about kindness and remind you the importance of being kind to people. Recently I watched a video on Facebook. don't normally use Facebook but I thought it would go on. Um, somebody recommended me to go and check this guy out who goes around and says hello to people and I thought oh, I was a bit curious about why he was doing it and it was to promote kindness but one of his little videos that he stuck up really really struck a chord with me and it made me so sad he randomly stopped this little lady in the high street she was dressed head to toe impeccably in pink oh my god she looked amazing she had pink in her hair, she had a beautiful pink coat on, little pink bows round her ankles and he stopped her and he said hello. So he says you look so so beautiful and you know what her words in the reply were? I get bullied. And she said what? And he said, she said I get bullied for wearing pink. And he said but why are you so beautiful? Look at you, you look amazing. And it was just so sad to hear those words that Sunday because they chose to wear the colour pink and it's her favourite colour and she was a big, she went on to say she was a big Audrey Hepburn fan. She had cracking little tattoos on her ankles and she looked absolutely amazing. This little old lady, she's had such a hard life and she was re enjoying her retirement by just dressing head to toe in pink. And people felt it was okay to criticise her appearance and the way that she looked. I think, you know, I cried when I carried on watching the video. I mean, I thought, oh my goodness, why are people so mean? You know, people dress the way they are because they want to. It's their identity. We have no right to make criticism about the way people look or the way people choose to dress or the way people choose to behave it's that up to them and i think you know there's a lot of it goes on especially on social media people put cryptic messages up to try and criticize people these keyboard warriors but you know at the end of the day you're giving them the strength by replying and putting a comment underneath and then whatever they are saying so I think you no know, there's enough haters in this world at the moment there's a lot of stuff going on there's wars going on there's people arguing fighting god knows what going on and I think the only way we can stop this is if we start promoting kindness to each other and stop and think before we say something because it can affect somebody's mental well-being. It can affect their self-esteem and their confidence. You might not think it just a stupid remark about the way they look or the way they're dressing. Might not have an impact on them, but it does. Believe me. I, I know that myself. It does, and it can have an impact on the way that you feel and the way that you are. So maybe... If you're feeling that way inclined, maybe you should hop over to Facebook and go and watch Duncan's videos. He's on Facebook and he's under the title of Just Say Hello and go and watch them and hear these people's stories because they want to be individual and they feel that, you know, they want to show their confidence through the way that they dress and things like that. It'll open your eyes a little bit and realise what an impact sometimes words can say and you know how words can have an impact on somebody's mental well-being anyway waffle over i hope you're all doing okay um i hope to be out and about soon i mean gosh i'm just enjoying this lovely weather at the moment big hugs to you all and please remember it doesn't cost anything to be kind. If you can't say something nice, don't say something. Don't say anything at all. Okay, take care.